What's up YouTube? Back with another tabletop review. Here we have the Smith & Wesson M&P 10 millimeter auto, new flat face trigger, optics ready. We'll take a look at that in a minute. One magazine. This is the second mag, and that's all you get. Interchangeable back straps. Optics plate for the MV core. Lock. And some paperwork and that's it for the box so it comes with the medium already installed and you get a medium large a small and then large so uh, the medium feels fine to me and I did just get back from the range so I do have a hundred rounds through this gun no malfunctions at all now I know there are problems with this model, but that was seems to have been during the launch, like over a year ago. And I think it had to do with the springs in here. But these seem to be very stout, robust. And uh, I shot 100 rounds of cellular and billets, 10 millimeter. But I also did two rounds of buffalo bore outdoorsman the hard cast flat nose so two rounds of the buffalo bore no problem at all so this is a very nice concealable gun for backpacking out in the country it's Comparable to the Glock 20, but I think this is a much better option. I had the Glock 20 before, but uh, I ended up selling it just before COVID. Uh, I used to have the M&P, the, the original core, and I got rid of that. Um, but I've always had an eye for 10 millimeter <clears throat> when it's done right. And I think this is probably your best option. All right, let's take a look at the trigger. I do like this updated trigger. Nice reset. Very crisp. These sights are three dot. Eh, I don't particularly like them. I'm used to blacked out rears and some sort of tritium up front. But most people are going to put a red dot on this. I haven't made that decision. Uh, I don't know which one I would get for this. Probably something that's, you know, Delta Point Pro. Something with that's robust and has... Um, well, even the uh, Sig Romeo uh, comes with like a, a shell, uh, outer shell that you can protect. But all in all, a really good shooter. Um, it's been a while since I've shot 10 millimeters, so I wasn't going for accuracy today. I just wanted to get the feel. Um, but yeah, it was very, very stout round, especially the Buffalo Boar, as you can imagine. There's a lot of kick. 
So there's probably some truth to what the FBI uh, went through back in the 80s. But I'm sure at that time it was probably maybe the tool. I think something like this, maybe even the 4.6. It's just very manageable. This grip feels great. And there's really nothing here to obstruct your grip at all. Um, I didn't find myself getting the slide you know, to malfunction for the grip at all. So I think it's a really good choice uh, if you're looking for something in 10 millimeter. And you do have options. There's also the, the SIG X10. I didn't want something that huge, um, but uh, something that's a little bit more concealable. Even though I probably won't carry this uh, on normal every day, but uh, something just to have, um, like I said, backpack, woods, uh, bear killer, basically. These are the plates for the different optics. I know they're made out of plastic. Um, some people may not like that. Now I know Hollow Sun is coming out with their, I forget the name of it, but it goes right onto the core without any plates. It's a s solar charging s site. I think it's something like that, solar SCS or something. But uh, that one can, I believe, can go right on here because I think there's no difference in the core series between 10 millimeter and nine millimeter, but I could be wrong. Um, if somebody wants to comment below, that might just go right on here. But unfortunately, that is designed to co-witness with regular sites, not these uh, suppressor height sites. So I don't know if these would go way over the the field window. So we'll have to see. I don't even think that's out yet or anybody has it, but uh, it might be something I would look at. Anyway, that's it. This is all you get in the package. Smith & Wesson M&P 10 millimeter 2.0. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next time.